The 10th Asia-Europe meeting opened this Thursday in Milan. With government leaders from 54 countries in attendance, it's the most important forum for dialogue between the two regions. ASEM is an informal process of dialogue and cooperation between European and Asian states. Delegates meet for two days to discuss topics ranging from political and security cooperation to regional and global challenges, health risks and regional interconnectivity. ASEM also provides delegates with the opportunity to hold bilateral talks with a wide number of partners. This year, one meeting in particular will be closely watched. In this specific uh, ASEM in Milan, uh, we will have an important meeting beside the officiality of ASEM uh, between uh, Putin, Poroshenko and uh, uh, European leaders. And I hope that even in that respect we uh, will have here in Milan some improvement toward escalation uh, and stability and peace in the area. But another relationship in the spotlight this year is that between China and Italy. Here on the sidelines of ASEM, the fifth China-Italy Innovation Forum is an opportunity to develop a joint research agenda. The hope is that Chinese and Italian companies can work closer together with the understanding that creativity and innovation are essential to China's development. But Premier Li Keqiang emphasized that innovation is only possible with a strong protection of intellectual property rights. Let's work together to push further such innovative collaboration. I want to stress that we have to protect the intellectual property rights. Only by doing so, we can properly protect the fruit of our collaboration. This means our two countries have to work side by side to protect and encourage each other to have more innovative ideas. I'm convinced that the future will be bright for our technological and scientific collaboration. Well, honestly, ABV, it's not about rhetoric. Uh, the Chinese government has, been, has done so much to create a system to protect intellectual property rights because it knows that Chinese companies are becoming more and more innovative. And if it wants to continue to attract investments and uh, by osmosis transfer technology to China, it needs to create this kind of environment. But whilst Premier Li Keqiang may be calling for more innovative collaboration between China and Italy, most of the media attention has been focusing on what China has been spending here. 8 billion euros worth of deals signed since he arrived. That's adding to the 5 billion already spent since the beginning of the year. For Guglielmo Nocci, the organizer of today's event, China is acting like any wise investor. It's diversifying. First of all, they are diversifying their financial investments. They rather neglected in the last few years, uh, let me say, the Italian stock exchange. Now they are investing in promising companies working in very well-established services and products on the one hand. But on the other hand, there is, let me say, a strategic aim related to the want of, let me say, acquiring, of developing together know-how, uh, know-how which is really present in the Italian industrial system and which might be useful for uh, uh, nurturing an effective cooperation between Italy and China. With the new deals, both countries hope to transcend the traditional buyer-seller relationship to found joint investment and development programs for greater interconnected economies, but also peoples. David Keaton for GB Times in Milan.